Hello and welcome to Blank First Page. My name is Lucas. In this box, I don't have a guitar effects pedal. I have the pinnacle of pencil design. Let's see what's inside. Obviously, we're talking about Blackwing pencils. Now, the history of Blackwing, it's common to many stationary brands. They kind of get bought, the rights get moved around, they get discontinued, they come back. So it's a bit complicated, but the brand originates in the 1930s where Blackwing made a pencil called the 602. That pencil was loved by many people. It had a bit of a cult following. But eventually, I think somewhere in the 1980s, it got discontinued. Thankfully, somewhere in the late 2000s, Palomino brand came back with a pencil based on that original 602. And over time, from that original single pencil, the line was expanded over a few years to have three main pencils. So they had the 602, a matte, and a pearl white. And each one of those pencils had a different core, meaning kind of a different hardness. A quick note on pencil hardness. So for the most part, you see some form of a scale with a combination of the letters H and B and the number accompanying it. H stands for hard, B stands for bold, and the higher the number is, the more hard or the more bold it is. So for example, a 9B is a bolder pencil than a 3B. And a 9H is a harder and a finer pencil than a 3H. The science behind pencil cores is that they are a mixture of graphite and clay. They don't actually contain any lead and the mix between the two determines the hardness. So the more clay you have in the mix, the harder the pencil, the more graphite, the softer. The 602 is kind of the middle of the road. They call it the firm and smooth. The next softer one is the pearl and then the softest one is the matte. So for the longest time, they only had those three versions of hardness. And to my use, they are all very much on the softer side. Now, they are amazing to use. If you're the type of person like me who thinks about feedback of pen on paper or pencil on paper and enjoys the sensation of the graphite coming off onto the page, then these pencils just deliver that feeling in copious amounts beyond what you can imagine. If you're a sketch artist or you use pencils for drawing, then these pencils are amazing. They just add another dimension to the experience. For me, my use case is primarily writing notes in a small page. I need a pencil that is firm so that it holds its point for a long time. I don't want to be sharpening the pencil too frequently. And I also need a point because I'm writing in a small space. So if the point itself is too wide. My words have to be much larger to be legible and therefore they take up more of the page. So while I like the original three pencils, they're just not for me. But all that changed with the release of Blackwing's Extra Firm Core. And the first time that came around was with this limited edition pencil. Now Blackwing does, a, they call them volumes. It's basically a subscription service. Every quarter they take a different theme and they make a pencil reflecting the theme that they've chosen. In this case, the inspiration was John Steinbeck, an American author, and they developed this extra firm core because of the method that Steinbeck used to use to write. So Steinbeck wrote with pencil on paper and for his writing sessions he had this whole routine. He had two pencil holders and he'd have about 20 pencils in one and none in the other. And before he'd start his writing session he would sharpen all the pencils in the one holder and then write with them. And as soon as the tip of the pencil he was writing with dulled down he transferred that over to the empty cup and take the next sharp pencil and continue writing. The idea being that once he's in the flow of writing, he sort of wanted to be able to keep writing without having to stop and sharpen, which addresses the exact problem I had with the soft 
pencils, which is that they dull too frequently and you're spending too much time sharpening. So the inspiration that they drew from, from Steinbeck and his method of writing was to create a pencil that kind of maintained the Blackwing unique selling point of being this extra soft, very enjoyable writing experience, but also held its point for longer. So let's look at the pencils. This was released in March of 2016. comes with some nice paraphernalia, some nice information on the inspiration behind it, and it comes in a set of 12. They are completely black, the finish on it is black, the ferrule is black, the eraser is black. So it is an all black pencil, which suits my aesthetic requirements perfectly. It has the Palomino Blackwing logos kind of embossed, the volume 24, which is the volume number, even though they don't go in chronological order, they kind of represent some part of the theme they're, they're inspired by. Um, and otherwise a very simple pencil. Of these 12 pencils, I've only used one and I still have the nub for that. Like me, you might suffer from stationary acquisition anxiety um, and especially with the sort of limited editions where you know there's a limited amount, you're not going to be able to buy these in the future, so you never use them because you think you're going to run out at some point and you then will have no access to this wonderful object anymore. And at the time when this pencil was released, I didn't know if they were going to make this a standard part of the lineup. Um, they're not a cheap pencil, so I'm not going to be buying boxes and boxes of their limited editions. I wanted to savor each pencil and I'm, I made this one last about a year and I used it daily, you know, it was part of my daily carry with my pocket notebook uh, for the best part of that year. And that's kind of a testament to how well that extra firm core works because you can write quite a while with it and you're not using up that much of the graphite each time, but you definitely still get the soft feeling that you do, that you're accustomed to from a Blackwing pencil. So that's where I thought that story would end. I thought I'm going to have to ration these 12 pencils out over the course of my life. But then out of nowhere in 2019, my prayers were answered and Blackwing introduced into their core lineup the natural, which has their extra firm graphite on it. So this pencil now joined their standard lineup, which meant that you were always now going to have access to this core, which was amazing. So of course I bought a box straight away and this is what they look like. So you've still got the Palomino Blackwing logos on there. Looks like a Palomino pencil with the flat ferrule at the top, the eraser that's held in place with this little sleeve that grips onto the eraser and then as the eraser wears down you're able to bring it back up and because of the sleeve it'll hold it in place even as that eraser gets used. So you're always able to access the full extent of the eraser. So there are two amazing features of this pencil. One is specific to this natural edition, the other is common to all black wings. The thing that's specific to this natural edition is the finish of the wood. It feels buttery smooth. This is like the, the fidget pen to end all fidget pens. I could sit and just enjoy the texture of this pencil finish forever. Now you know sometimes when you're trying to describe a particular sense but the only way you can do that is to describe it using another sense. So for example this food tastes like that thing looks. And that's the only way I can think of to describe what the outside of this pencil is like. It feels like, the texture of it feels like, what it feels like to write with the soft core Blackwing pencils. So the sensation you get as you're writing with one of the 602 soft core pencils of the, the core and the graphite kind of giving way as you apply pressure to the paper, that is what touching the outside of this pencil feels like. I have no better way of describing it. And the other feature which is common to all Blackwing pencils is the design of the flat ferrule. Most other pencils you have this cylindrical design, but in this case it's flat and the reason I love it has nothing to do with writing itself. 
One of the habits I have when I'm using a pen but not writing with it is to hold it in my mouth. And the design of the ferrule makes it so much more comfortable to hold that way than just a simple round end. They actually remind me of the cigars my uncle used to smoke and the box would come with like a plastic end which you'd put always a new cigar into and the part that fit in your lips looked exactly like this. It had this flat end that is obviously designed to feel comfortable between your teeth or between your lips. In fact, when I was about somewhere in my early teens, like 11 to 13, I'd gone to the dentist and they asked me if I smoke a pipe because my teeth were starting to show a wear pattern of people who smoke pipes. Obviously you got a pipe in your mouth most of the day, your teeth start wearing away. And when I obviously said I do not smoke a pipe because I'm 11 years old, they said, well, do you hold pens in your mouth? Because that's a similar pattern you get. And in primary or secondary school, we had this Reynolds brand uh, ballpoint pen, which had a, a cap that had this also tapered flat end to it. And I used to sit with that in my teeth and chew on it. A habit I obviously had to stop if I didn't want to have a sort of a hole drilled through my teeth, um, but I am still guilty of holding pencils, especially these ones, in my teeth like that. Definitely a healthier alternative to smoking cigars, but probably not recommended. I've also kept the stubs to the pencils of this version that I've used. I've only used one fully. Uh, I do have a second box because of my stationary acquisition anxiety that I mentioned uh, when I moved recently to Europe. I bought a second box just in case I found myself in a place where I would not have access to Blackwing pencils. So I have the, the one that I used fully. Again, this easily lasted a whole year. Currently, I've got one going that I've been using also probably for the last 12 months off and on. Um, when they get to this size, they become really, really good uh, everyday carry pencils. I made this little leather point protector. Holds on really nicely. And I've also got another one sharpened, which I would uh, lent to my wife for doing some sketching, but that's now safely back in its box. And I definitely don't think I'm going to be running out of these now anytime soon. But I do have one more, which has the extra firm core in it. This is another limited edition, and it's actually kind of like a limited edition of a limited edition. They do this series called Eras, which are inspired by specific time periods in particular. And this one is a tribute to the 1930s when that uh, first 602 came out. Um, and the pencils are another beautiful Blackwing design. This model has a bit more design going on. It's got this anthracite kind of gray looking finish with gold lettering embossed, Blackwing eras. They've done away with the Palomino part of the brand. Um, and it's got their tagline, half the pressure, twice the speed. It has this sort of gunmetal gray color on the ferrule with a nice brass or bronze detail. And the eraser is a more traditional pencil kind of pink. Not sure when or where I will be using these, but they are also precious like the John Steinbeck model is. Let's do a quick writing sample. I've still got the point of the Steinbeck model, so I'll make use of that and we'll try out the natural one as well. Not quite representative of the writing experience because you have to pinch up on it so much, but still enjoyable and still putting down a good amount of graphite. And here's a more normal pencil use case. With very little pressure, you can put down a pretty dark line, very clear against the page. And you know how when you're writing with a pencil, especially if it's soft, you kind of have to constantly be turning it to find the new sharp edge. You don't really have to do that too often 
with the pencil you can see over the course of maybe 10 centimeters it starts to thicken up but it's pretty consistent so there you have it there is a selection of the extra firm core versions of the blackwing pencil lineup if, like me, your use case for pencils is primarily note-taking, I guarantee there is no better pencil out there for you. And now that Blackwing make these natural ones as part of their standard lineup, um, you don't have to suffer the same stationary acquisition anxiety that I did initially. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you on the next one.